<laughs> I've done this, and now I'm doing this. We're going to ask the parents of the babies, as I call the babies' names, if the parents will come to the platform. We don't have room this morning for the godparents and grandparents to come. And uh, Richard and my distinctive associate here, <coughs> Randy Wario, yeah. is, uh, <clears throat> is going to help me with this arduous task. Can you handle it? I'll do my best, Pat. Okay, all right. Okay. How you been doing, Randy? Wonderful. I'm blessed. I understand you went off and preached recently in, in, in Atlanta. I sure did. How'd it go? It was wonderful. What'd you preach on? A godly life, godly heritage. I'm ready to preach here too. You me go ahead. <laughs> we had dinner on the grounds too. They fed me when I went. Yeah. That's the best kind, you know. From the looks of things, they knew you needed it. <laughs> I'm kidding you, man. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay. Gideon Daniel Alt. How don't you like that name, Gideon Daniel? <laughs> He held him up, squeezed his belly, and he spit up. <laughs> he got you good, brother. I saw it. <laughs> My first introduction to Gideon, and he just spits everywhere. The anointing, brother. It's anointing. Okay. Whatever. I've never seen the anointing quite on that fashion. <laughs> I've seen some preachers slobbering at the mouth, but nothing like that. I like this name, too, River Jordan Amour. Isn't that nice? River Jordan. River Jordan. Wow. How about that? River Jordan. Hey, River, come here, buddy. What you going to call him when you're mad at him? Both names. River Jordan? I guess. Why did you come up with that name? Um, well, we wanted to name our, our baby a, a revival name. A revival. And we picked out River for a boy and Rain for a girl. Rain for a girl? Yeah, but it was a, we didn't know what it was until we had it, so river. What was you going to name the girl? Uh, Jaylee Rain. Jaylee Rain. How about that? That's a, a mixture of our, both of our middle names, Jason. That's neat. I like that. River Jordan. He, well, he's got to be special. Very. Yeah, he's going to be special. That's sweet. I left my glasses at home. Okay, Randy. Ann Lawrence Burks. <laughs> Samuel Elliott Day. There they come. Abigail Grace Gardner. Ah, I like that name. <laughs> Abigail Grace. Bethany. Uh, Katie Horton. Is that, did I pronounce that right? Bethany Kadish Horton. Is that her? Oh, that's the other one. Okay. Um, Thomas Stephen Leggett. Michael Elijah Marlowe.
Gabriel, boy, we got a lot of Bible names, haven't we? Gabriel, Hunter Parrott. Laura Elaine Purdy. Kevin Timothy Sanders. Listen to this name, Josiah Edwin Sargent. Wow. Can we slide down just a tad? Let's slide down this way just a tad if we can, just sort of stand down here. Just a little bit. Move over just a wee bit. There we go. We're going to give the parade this morning and look these babies over. I want everybody to put your eyes on these babies. I love this. Uh, the older I get, my arms don't hold out like they used to when I was younger. And the, these babies are getting bigger, I believe. <laughs> but I'm going to take them by and show them to you and let you just ooh and ah over them. They sure are sweet.
is Allison and Jeff's baby. I'm Braden today. I'm doing good. They're laughing at me. Hey. Hey. Sweet.
you believe I walk with God? That's a job. Would you stand with me, please? <clears throat> I commend you, parents. I commend you for warning children in an age today when many people, their lives are so busy they don't want them, they're an intrusion into their lives. I also commend you for bringing your babies to the house of God to be dedicated, even as Jesus was offered in the temple. These babies are unique and they're special. You'll never have another one like them. And uh, I can see from looking at these babies and carrying them around here in the sanctuary, there's a whole bundle of promise in each one of them. And the Holy Spirit will give you the blueprint. He will loan you the blueprint for their life. He will help you to chart their course. God will use you. He'll give you wisdom. And he'll give you discernment and an intuitive thing that other people don't have concerning your child. It'll be an intuitive thing. A lot of times you'll be able to just look at that child and you will be able to just know something is wrong by looking at them. They won't have to say a word. And it'll be something that God will kiss you with that you will have that'll be distinctive. And we're going to offer these babies to the Lord this morning in the holy act of dedication. This is a somber moment. We're going to bless these babies. The Holy Spirit is here, just like the Holy Spirit is at a wedding. Whenever a man and wife swears and covenants together, whenever the fruit of that union comes forth, Holy Spirit is there to hear this prayer that we're about to pray over these babies. And it's going to be a special thing. I'm going to ask you, if you will, please to extend your right hand this way as we bless these babies and these parents. Holy Spirit, I know you're here. There's no doubt about it. I know, Lord, that you know these babies. There's no doubt about that. And before they ever found themselves to be in the womb of their mother, you knew them and you already had them named by name. And Father, I thank you for this hallowed moment. I thank you for these babies that we have now in your presence. And I ask, Lord, as a man of God, that your hand would rest upon these children, that you would bless them with a sound mind. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love and a sound mind. I pray, Lord, for a sound mind for every one of these children, male and female, that they will be solid, they will know who they are, they will know from whence they came, and they will know where they're going. And Father, I pray for an endowment of godly wisdom, the kind that comes from above to kiss the minds of their mothers and their fathers and their grandparents and other family members so that these parents, the adults, may not only show the way, but they may lead the way. And they may have an understanding and a discernment and an intuitive thing specially gifted by God 
that they will know exactly what's going on in this child's life, even when they're not present and even when they can't lay their eyes on them, they will still intuitively know things about this child. That there's danger lurking wherever they are, that they're around the wrong people. Father, I pray that you'll give these parents wisdom to know how to teach and lead their children away from the path of evil and to lead their children into the path of righteousness for your name's sake. And Father, I pray that these children will be blessed physically, that you will keep their bones, that you will keep them from diseases that may take their lives prematurely. Father, I pray for every organ in their body to function as the way you intended from the beginning. And I pray, Lord, that you will keep them from maladies, from diseases, from infirmities. I ask, Lord, that you will keep these children from others that will have a negative influence on them. Let the parents and the grandparents and those in charge of these children have knowledge to know who to let their children be with and who not to let their children be with. And Father, I pray that you'll keep them from the snare of the fowler. I pray that you'll keep them from pits. I pray that you'll keep them from traps, from ensnarements. I pray, Lord, that you will keep them from nooses around their necks. I pray, Lord, that their enemies will never prevail against them. Even though they may be assaulted from the front and the back, I pray that you'll always give these children seven ways of escape. Lord, let there be a wall of fire about them and a canopy of fire about their heads. Keep them, Lord, from demonic attack. I know, Lord, that you have a plan and a purpose for these children. And I speak as a man of God in the name of Jesus that the plan of Satan will never be fulfilled over these babies. That the will and the plan of God will come to pass over these children's lives. Father, I pray that you'll help their mothers and their fathers to live holy in the home so there'll be no leprosy in the house, but that the walls will be clean, the atmosphere will be clean, there'll be joy, there'll be laughter, there'll be happiness, there'll be life, there'll be expression in the home, they'll enjoy meals together, they'll sleep good in their beds, they'll walk around in their home as a sanctified holy place where there's security and warmth and love. And Father, we bless these babies to grow strong in spirit. Let their names come to pass in their life. The names that these parents prayed over, the names they thought about, the names that they dreamed about that would fit this child, you gave the names to these parents. Now, Lord, let these children fulfill the destiny of their names. Let it be beautiful in our sight. Let it be lovely in your sight, Jesus. We release these children, Father, to these parents and these guardians in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost to walk in peace and to grow strong and to be great men and women of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Give them a good hand as they're seated. Will you please?